have to say I'm sorry to my subscribers. And I'm not promising anything just yet. I'm in a position where I can start making some videos. Um, I'll try to make them interesting. We're gonna up the game with that and add some small production value. Um, you know, we, you know, the third floor is a studio uh, under construction. So everything is sort of, you know, we, we've got big fish to fry here. Obviously it's, it's snowed a little bit here. Um, Pond is frozen, semi-frozen. I wouldn't walk on that even if I was a dog. You will get some content. Uh, and I promise it'll be as interesting as I can possibly make. So uh, anyway, let's go inside. Okay, um, so we thought we could heat the house with just this. Uh, this is for next year, this beautiful stove here. It's an Irish cook stove, but this guy was a hundred bucks, uh, plus all the tubing for it. Um, outside there, it goes up through the greenhouse roof. doing is uh, we got these uh, mini split heat pumps for now and that gives us a lot of comfort this has not been sufficient because our thermal envelope was bad and plus we're having a lot of smoke issues with that guy um, but these mini splits are nice they they what they do is they pull heat out of the air and yes there's some heat in that air out there so we have these mini splits in and they draw heat from the outside and pump it on the inside and then they pump the cold outside or they can also reverse that process and become an air conditioner in the summer and with abrupt climate change as that happens uh, that'll be increasingly useful as an air conditioner anyway the stove so you know we've been having a lot of trouble with the stove um, uh, with smoke because of the the roof and the pipe i just want to focus on the uh damper that i made um it's not cold in here even though i'm wearing a hat but that's why i'm wearing a hat so um, it's hard to clean out this stove. It's a very nice uh, vigil. I made a damper today. That's open. That's closed. And the main reason for it is the, the splits are working and the stove work fine enough. It's my thermal envelope. You can see that I have all this plastic, the vapor barrier, I have all the insulation behind it. Um, but I didn't have the vapor barrier on. And this wall was just really cold. You could feel cold air coming through between the insulation and it was just sucking all the heat out. So I've, I've tightened everything up up top. It goes all the way up now. So now the air travels from the, the bottom of the soffit all the way up 37 feet to the ridge cap and then out. So I've been patching up all the holes in the house. And then I realized I have two big holes that I didn't even think about. And that's in the wood stove. I have an air intake here. And I capped that off because we haven't been using the stove since uh, Thanksgiving when we had family here and we had a nice fire and everything. But for now, we've been living just off the uh, splits and they're, they're doing the job not fully. But as I patch things up, the temperature rises by a degree here and there and uh, they're performing better. So I patched this giant hole up, which is the air intake, which normally would go here. And the other thing that I patched today was this gigantic six inch air hole pipe so i just wanted to quickly demonstrate um, that it this really does make a difference as far as uh, blocking the air from coming here it doesn't fully block it but it reduces by 80 90 percent to test that uh, i wanted to take a incense incense stick of a nam nag champa and uh mm, that smells so nice reminds me of india i've never been to Anyway, so let's let's light that puppy and uh, see what happens here. I just want to demonstrate that the air in, that the air flowing into the house, you'll be able to see it the you know dramatic increase of its flow with the smoke from this. Okay, so now we have smoke. Let's put it in here. This Vigilant has, this is fireplace mode. It also has a uh, wood stove mode. If you turn that down, we're gonna leave it in fireplace mode. And that basically, that hole goes here 
and basically straight out the tube and right on off the pipe. The damper is closed. Okay, so you can see the flow pattern now. If I open this up, watch the smoke. Okay, now you can see that it is just totally flowing. Okay, so now if I shut it, it calms down. So that proves to me that um, the, the damper is working in a visual and obvious way. So that's reduced now the thermal envelope even better. And that's just a, an egregious hole in the thing. This stove with all the cracks and imperfections in it, it's probably still has 100% airflow into it. So, so that's it. So there's a consideration for you. If you don't have a, um, a damper on your stove, you probably should put it on there.